Hey Stampers, welcome to Brandy's Cards. I hope you guys are doing good and I hope that you're having a great day. So I'm really excited. I have a fun card for you. Actually, I have several fun cards um, designed with the golf, um, the clubhouse stamp set, which is a masculine stamp set. And you guys haven't seen me do too many masculine cards. And so I've gotten several emails saying, Brandy, come on, show us some masculine cards. So I was really excited. Um, here is the uh, handmade for you. This is our Stampin' Up! Spring Catalog. And um, they call it the mini catalog. It's far from mini. Uh, this catalog is fantastic. It runs through June 2nd of 2020. Um, so many wonderful things in here. But today we're gonna focus on the Clubhouse Suite. And so let me just open this up and show you exactly where that is located. It's towards, um, kind of towards the back here. You have to brush by all these other beautiful projects and stamp sets. Um, it's right here on page 46. So I loved this suite. And so one of the reasons that it was so near and dear to my heart is because uh, my father-in-law, he absolutely loves to golf. He is the biggest golfer ever and he comes and he helps me with my business um, and he'll take my mail for me, but he also is on the golf course all the time. And on occasion, I'll stop by and see him and he'll say, oh, come on out here. And one time, you know, he watched an infomercial and he bought this putting thing, um, that contraption that you like hook up and it helps your swing. And next thing you know, I'm out on the, <laughs> I'm out on the putting range with this thing strapped and I'm trying to putt and I have the hardest time hitting small little balls. Uh, he was not impressed by any stretch, but it was super fun um, to spend that time with him and to kind of see what he was doing. Um, he also likes to go and we actually live here on a golf course. And so he likes to go find golf balls and he's got buckets and buckets and buckets of balls. And so my son, Tyler, he also likes to golf. So he is a part of his middle school golf team. And so that's been a lot of fun and it's been quite uh, a learning experience, you know, going from a soccer mom to a golf mom, kind of a different pace and, uh, you know, a little bit different, but it's a lot of fun. Um, and so this suite was near and dear to my heart, just kind of being a part of that world. And so if you take a look here, um, I loved the golf balls in here and, um, you know, the clubs. And you can see the flags and the grass and the tee here with this fun golf ball. So if you guys stick with me, I've got like five or six cards I'm actually going to show you that I designed um, with this as well. Now here is the Country Club Designer Series paper. I actually have some here. It is so fun. It is so much fun. So here it is. And so you've got these fun patterns. Look at that pattern. I love the colors. You've got some flags. And then here you've got some different, uh, just some different things that you can use to embellish your card. And then of course the golf carts. And I love these patterns and these colors. And then when you flip it over, you've got some more neutral colors. And some that might be, you know, if you're not big into like maybe the flashier, brighter colors, maybe you're into some more neutrals. And so this one um, I just thought was really great too. And these are perfect for coloring. You could totally color these with your Stampin' Blends and so forth, or your watercolor pencils, you know, anything like that. So that is the Country Club Designer Series paper. It is awesome. Now you'll also see here I have the Clubhouse Stamp Set and the Golf Dies. So here's the golfer, we're gonna use him today, and I'm gonna show you cards with most of these things. But I also have the golf club dies here as well. And I'm gonna go ahead and pull my golfer out because that's what we're gonna use first here today. All right, and so, you know, I'll just go ahead and show you. I do have the country elements. These are some fun little elements and things that you can put on your, your cards to embellish, or you can make shaker cards, that sort of fun stuff. I've actually been using these quite a lot so I've popped a bunch of them out. And then of course you've got the Country Club twine. So I like the twine because it matches. It, everything coordinates with the colors and so forth. So I really, really liked that. Um, and then if you flip over here to page 48, you can see that right now in the spring catalog, if you purchase this bundle, you actually get a 10% discount. So that is great. And that's off of the stamp set and the dies together. 
So just a really neat, neat bundle. Okay, so the card that we're gonna make today is this one. And I just thought this one was so much fun. I hope the next year is full of green fairways, blue skies, and short putts. That reminds me of my father-in-law. He loves those green fairways and those blue skies, and he's always hoping for a short putt, <laughs> or he's got a contraption that's helping him <laughs> putt better. Um, so I just thought this was fun. This is on our Fluid 100 watercolor paper, and that is uh, in, within our Stampin' Up! catalog. And so I just thought it was a really fun, easy background, and I think, uh, I think you guys would enjoy making this card. So I'm gonna show you exactly how I did it. Um, I pulled some scraps. I pulled um, Mango Melody scrap, as well as a Garden Green scrap. And then other than that, I have the watercolor paper and a piece of Whisper White cardstock, all right? Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna fold our Whisper White cardstock in half. So this is pretty easy part. We're just gonna fold this guy in half. And if you're new to my channel and you're like, where are the sizes and the dimensions? Not to worry, just visit brandyscards.com and in the top navigational bar, you'll see videos. You just wanna click on videos and all of my videos will come up and you will uh, see the picture of this card. And then you click on that and I have a free PDF tutorial download for you. So you can put it in your ideas and inspiration book and uh, of course you can always change the stamp set too. Um, so definitely uh, make sure you visit Brandy's cards. All right, so I have a piece of um, watercolor paper and I have an aqua painter. I also have just a couple Stampin' Up! blocks here and these are actually paper pumpkin blocks. So if you're uh, looking at them and you're like, now why are those thinner? They're actually paper pumpkin blocks and um, that's why they look a little bit different. And so I'm gonna put a little balmy blue, I have a balmy blue ink refill, and I have a granny apple green ink refill. And I'm just gonna add a couple dots here. Now there are a lot of ways that you can color this background. You could spritz your watercolor paper and then drop some ink on it and kind of move it around. You could color with watercolor pencils and then you could blend with the aqua painter. So I'm just gonna show you one way to do this, but there are lots of different ways that you can do this. So I'm gonna squeeze my aqua painter and I'm just gonna just drop a bit of water here in my ink refill. Now the reason that I'm doing that is because it would be so concentrated when I would, you know, if I would go from the ink refill to my watercolor paper. So by putting a little bit of water in here, it can kind of, uh, you know, kind of dilute it a little bit. Now I'm just gonna go over here to my watercolor paper and I'm just gonna, with easy light strokes, kind of go back and forth. Now I like a bit of white kind of showing here and there. I like that look. And so I'm not necessarily going all the way to the edges. I do like it to kind of get a little bit lighter and darker in different places. So, you know, just kind of play with it. You might have to actually try this a couple different times before you get it like exactly how you like it. So don't be afraid to just have fun with it and just, you know, just play with it a little bit. Now you could certainly go back in here and add um, you know, you could add a little bit more of the balmy blue to your block, get it a little bit darker, and then add some more color to your watercolor paper. So I'm just gonna clean off my brush. That's how you clean off an aqua painter. You just take it and brush it back and forth on your um, scrap paper here, your scrap cardstock on the side. Now I'm gonna just drop another, um, you know, little bit of water here into my granny apple green. And then I'm gonna stir Granny Apple Green up and get that nice and diluted and ready to be put on my watercolor paper. So here we go, same sort of technique. Now you can see I am trying to sort of brush it up like it's on a hill. I kind of want it to look like he is hitting the ball on the green fairway. And so I'm just sort of adding a bit of color, very light strokes really, I mean, very, very light. And you might have to squeeze your aqua painter if, if the water, if the, if the color is not blending as well that, as you would like, just add a bit more um, 
you know, just squeeze your aqua painter and just get a little bit more water going and that should help. Now I'm gonna go in and I'm just gonna add a little bit more granny apple green because I do want some darker areas. So I'm just gonna add it right here on my block, just one little spot. And then I'm gonna take my aqua painter and I'm just gonna pick up some of that color and just sort of come in here onto my my watercolor paper. Do you see how that kind of adds a little bit of some, you know, some darker color to that? And I really liked that. It just kind of made it, you know, a little bit more realistic and a little bit more artsy, if you will. So I really liked that a lot. So I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of clean off my aqua painter. And if you want, you could, once your aqua painter is clean, you could uh, come back over here and you could blend a little bit more if you wanted. You could decide, okay, well, I wanna make things a little bit darker here and there. So you've got some wiggle room as to some of the things that you can do. Now you're gonna to wanna to let it dry. So there's a couple of different things. You could just let it dry, um, cause it does tend to kind of warp a little bit, but that's okay. Once you glue that down to your project, it'll all flatten out and be perfectly fine. Um, but you could also take your heat tool and sometimes if you just heat it just for you know a couple of seconds it will dry and it'll flatten right out. Alright so I'm going to take my liquid adhesive and I'm going to put some liquid adhesive right here behind my watercolor paper and then we're going to glue it to the top of our cardstock. Pretty easy just like that. So we're going to glue that right to the top of the cardstock. Then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how I created my golfer. All right, so I have a piece of uh, scrap whisper white paper. I have memento black ink as well. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ink up my golfer here in memento black. And so I'm gonna ink it up really good. I like to um, put the stamp on the table and then press the stamp pad on top of it. I feel like I get kind of more of an even color or even stamp. And then you're gonna stamp the golfer straight down and straight up, just like that, all right? Now while we're stamping him, we're gonna do it a couple more times. I have Garden Green here. I'm gonna ink him up and trying to get him good and inked up. And then I'm gonna stamp him here on Garden Green. And I'll show you why here in just a minute. And then I'm gonna stamp him again on Mango Melody. All right, so here we go. I'm inking him up, getting it good and covered. Perfect, right. And now we're gonna stamp it on our Mango Melody piece. There we go, just like that. All right, so that's pretty much it for the stamping on this card. Now what I'm gonna do is I have my framelit of my golfer and I've got my die cutting machine. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and put my golfer down and then you can, you know, put your framelit on top. I would use some washi tape to kind of hold it in place. I don't have any here with me today, but you should, you know, you could certainly grab some old washi tape and use that to, um, to hold it in place if it's moving around. Sometimes these acrylic plates get kind of warped um, and it does help to kind of stick him down, I guess. All right, so now I have my golfer cut out. And one thing I really liked about this was just how beautifully it cut him out. Um, so what you're gonna do then is you're actually gonna cut him out of Mango Melody and out of Garden Green. So once you get him all cut out, then you're gonna go, and here I've actually already cut a couple out so that I could show you. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go in here and you're gonna take your snips, your paper snips. And I decided that his shirt was gonna be Mango Melody and his pants were gonna be Garden Green. Now you can pick any color that you would like and I would say go to your scrap bin and um, kind of pull some stuff from there. But what I did is I just cut around his, um, his shirt and just kind of watch the lines of his shirt. And, and I also, you'll see there's a little bit of an edge left over from the framelit. And um, I absolutely cut that off. And so now I've got his shirt, so that's perfect. And I did the exact same thing with his pants. Now here with his pants, one thing you wanna keep in mind is you know he does kinda have this um, 
this area that kind of comes up between his legs. So you want to definitely make sure you're mindful of that so you can get that cut correctly. And so as you can see, the lip that's kind of around his pants, we're going to cut around that and down here at the bottom by his ankle and then inside his leg. He looks like he's got good form here. And then we're going to cut up and around his heel. Perfect. It's kind of like paper dolls. <laughs> I am, you know, you could, this paper is so much fun. I can't wait to show you some of the other outfits I came up with for this guy. Um, so now what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna adhere um, his clothing to the original die cut, the original Whisper White die cut. So I'm just putting a bit of a liquid adhesive and I'm gonna put this right here on top, just like that, perfect. And I have a shirt here as well that you guys just saw me cut out for him. And so make sure that you come up here to the top and make sure you put adhesive so it, he uh, doesn't uh, lose his outfit. There we go. Perfect. Okay. So now he's half dressed. We still have a little bit to go, but he's half dressed. So I'm going to just put these up here. Um, and now I have, I have some Stampin' Right markers and I also have some Stampin' Blends. So um, the first blend that I have here is a Knight of Navy marker, um, a Stampin' Blend alcohol marker. And I'm just gonna come in here and I'm gonna color his hat. You could certainly, um, you know, this one I believe is a light. You know, you could go in here and add some darks and things, but there's not a whole lot of space to color. So I wasn't too concerned about that. I also have a, um, a I think this is a Smoky Slate. And so the smoky slate, one thing that I've learned from my son who loves to golf is that golfers wear one glove, not two. Um, I'm not totally sure why, but they wear one glove so nothing slips. And so as you can see here, our golfer has one glove on, not two. So when you're coloring him, he's only got one glove there. Now you can, I have ivory here, but we also have bronze so you can, you know, color a skin tone. And I'm just gonna color his arm with the Ivory um, Stampin' Blend. And as you can see here, like the back of his neck, his ears, and of course you've got his other hand and fingers that are wrapped around his glove. And so I would just color him, you know, color his, uh, color his arms and his neck and so forth. And I think that's pretty much it. Now one thing that I did realize as I was doing this is you kind of want to make sure that you also color the grass that he's standing on. So I would grab your aqua painter and just pick up a little bit of color and you can just come in here and add a little bit of green. Um, and that's just going to, you know, complement with the card and the green fairway that he's already on. All right, so let's pull our card back in and we're going to put it all together. So here we go. I have already cut out a flag and a golf ball. And let me show you where those came from. So here on the designer series paper, here's the flag. So there's a bunch of flags actually. So that's where I cut my flag from. And here is where I cut my golf ball. So I just snipped those and, and uh, hand cut those out is what I did there. And so we're gonna take some liquid adhesive I'm just gonna kind of put a little bit behind my pole and my flag, just a wee bit. And then I'm gonna set it right here towards the left hand corner. I want it to be kind of at the top of my hill, if you will, just like that. Now I have my golf ball that I cut, it's a little guy. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue behind the golf ball. And I kind of want it like the, the golfer just hit the ball and it is headed towards that hole, just like that. Now I'm gonna take and put some Stampin' Dimensionals behind the golfer, just a few. I wanna pop him up a little bit. Now it's interesting, because one thing that I did like is I actually liked his feet to kind of be on the card and him popped up a little bit. So I do have some mini glue dots, so I might just go ahead and put one right behind his feet because I did really like that. So I'm gonna just stick with that, I think. I've made a few of these cards. Um, Grandpa Dave's birthday 
was December 31st and so I had ordered this on my pre-order and was very excited to create him a golfing card. So now I'm adding my golfer here. You've got your mini glue down, dot down by his feet and then I have my stamp and dimensionals. And so it appears that he's hitting the golf ball and it's headed towards that hole. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is we are going to stamp the sentiment and it appears my sentiment is missing. Oh dear, where did it go? Okay, well hang tight. I think it's over here on my, um, I think it's over here on my cart. So I'm gonna go over here and grab my sentiment. So don't go anywhere. All right, let's see. Here's my sentiment, I got it. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> I am back, sorry about that. Um, so it says here, I hope that the next year is full of green fairways, blue skies, and short putts. So what I have for that is I have pretty much all of the same colors that we've been using, um, but I decided to pull in some shaded spruce because I wanted it a little bit darker. And then I've also got a basic black marker. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I am going to color the very top here because I want this part of the stamp to be black, just like that. And I also want the and sign to be black, and that's kind of right there in the middle. Now we're gonna take, and I believe we're gonna go to Shaded Spruce, and we have green fairways in here. So I'm gonna color green fairways with my marker, just like that. And then we're gonna take and color the next one, which is Blue Skies with Balmy Blue. And I'm gonna add Balmy Blue right here, just like this. There we go. And the very last color we're gonna add is Mango Melody. And Mango Melody is right down here, short putts. That's what all golfers are hoping for. Some short putts, okay. So now that we've colored, our sentiment. I have just a strip of Whisper White here, and I'm gonna stamp my sentiment right in the middle. Look at that, that is super cool. So here we go, and all I'm gonna do now is take a couple Stampin' Dimensionals, and I'm gonna put it on each side of my sentiment, or my strip, and then I'm gonna put it right over, kind of under his tush a little bit, but um, across the back of his legs. So there you have it, this is it. This is a fun masculine golf card. Now it's not hard to create and you can totally get creative and you can change up the outfit. Um, and of course you could use this background or scenery for, um, you know, for a different type of card too. So let me show you some of the other cards that I designed using this stamp set. I just thought it was so much fun that um, I just kept on creating with it. I really enjoyed it a lot. Um, the designer series paper just made it, you know, super fun. So here's one. Now this is one of the designer series papers. This one I actually colored him with Stampin' Blends. So you can see how he was colored. Um, I, 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 you know, I did stick with the Granny Apple Green and the Knight of Navy Blends on that one. And let's see here, let's look at this one. This one is the Absolutely Argyle. That's right, the Absolutely Argyle embossing folder. So um, if you made a purchase with me in January, um, that was one of my host gifts or one of my gifts that I gave away for a qualifying purchase. So I'm really excited. Um, I really liked this one along with the other um, embossing folders. And so you can see that, um, you know, I colored him with blends as well. And, you know, we just kind of changed this one up. This one's a Happy Father's Day. Now this one here, I think is one of my favorites. It's just very classic. Um, it's just really striking and really all it is is basic gray. Um, and then of course the uh, Country Club Designer Series paper. I stamped him in black and then I uh, die cut him out with the framelit and I added some twine back here and that's about it. You know, somebody said to me the other day, I didn't realize that you could put twine or you know, tie a bow on a masculine card. You know, it's really interesting because it doesn't bother me. Um, I don't know, it just doesn't really bother me and I, I really liked this card. So, you know, I guess uh, 
that's just up to how you like it, I suppose. All right, let's see what's next. Um, here's the next one. This one is the fun golf ball. And so this golf ball is actually in the golf club dies along with the tee and the grass. I thought this one was super fun. I used the, um, the twine that you've got over here that come in the suite. And then I added some white twine to that too. So that was kind of a, a fun hole in one type card, I guess. And then this one is super fun and I love his outfit. So this is the designer series paper. I just stamped on it like we did the Garden Green cardstock or the Melon um, Mango Melody. And so I cut it out and just adhered it to him. And then I used the golf ball, which is in the stamp set right here. And I stamped the golf ball all the way around to kind of create that fun background. So that's how I did that. So that card I think is uh, also one of my favorites. And the very last thing that I have to show you is this guy. And so this was just kind of a fun idea. It's got some golf balls and some tees inside there. Um, and this is just kind of a little tag that I created uh, to kind of give, give a little gift. So anyway, this is uh, my masculine cards that I created with the uh, Country Club Suite. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope that you found some inspiration here. Um, you know, I can create with butterflies and flowers and pretty things all day long, but sometimes it's hard for me to do masculine cards. Um, so I really enjoyed this challenge. Um, Stamp It Up definitely makes it easy with everything coordinating in the beautiful designer series paper and so forth. Um, but if you visit Brandy's Cards, and uh, in this post, you'll be able to find the downloads to these uh, different cards. And of course, if you have any questions, always be sure to let me know. And if you don't already have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, feel free to reach out to me. I'd love the opportunity to send you catalogs, answer any questions you have, and um, maybe earn your business. And if you're already a customer of Brandy's Cards, thank you so much for watching my video today. And I hope that you enjoyed this project. Definitely send me pictures of some of the things that you're creating. I'd love to see what y'all are working on too. Thank you guys for stopping by. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next video. And um, have a blessed day. Bye everybody.